So we just got to Oregon today. What does that make for you? How many states have you visited? That is 49. This is now my 49th state. Airports do not count. Airports don't count. We are about to cross the river. What happens when we cross the river? That's state number 50 since we're officially sleeping in Washington today. Washington, right? Yeah. And then we're <laughs> we're officially sleeping in Washington tonight, and then we'll be spending uh, the next couple of days in Oregon visiting uh, Garibaldi Bay, Tillamook, things like that. So just to make a, a round out trip for my full 50 states, and Scott got to see us both that he wants. Awesome! 50. I'm really happy for her. He's happy he got to see his boat that he wants. All right, so we are driving to Kelly's Brighton Marina. We're gonna try to go crabbing for Dungeness. Super excited, we drove about two hours today from Vancouver, Washington. Megan's driving the car. Hey. And she's been, views. she's been wanting to do this for a long time. Long time. Uh, yeah, so we're doing it. We're doing the fish dance and the crab dance and the crab dance mm -hmm. and the crab dance. Yeah, this is going to be really awesome. We're going crabbing. It's raining. Kelly's Marina. We are the only ones going out today. It is cold and rainy. All right. Kelly's Marina. We're going crabbing. <laughs> Grew up on Dungeness. But never caught him. Never caught him. Apparently, we're the only crazy ones out today. All right, we got our first one. He's too small. Let's see. Where's the first one? Right there. All right, you gonna pick him up and throw him in? Fuck no, I'm just gonna put the trap back down. Okay. But I gotta hold it. Yeah! Hey, first Dungeness ever. First Dungeness I've ever caught. First one, awesome. You can't tell, I'm the one that loves crabbing. <laughs> All right. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta put the rock there. We're gonna coil the rope up, drop it back in so that when the trap falls, uh, the rope goes right out behind the boat and the buoy will stay on top. So that's what Megan's doing right now is reconfiguring. That was cool. That was only about 10 minutes from the time we dropped it down. Yeah. All shorts, huh? All shorts. How many do you think we've pulled up so far? 100 shorts? Probably, close to it. Not one keeper yet. How do you like driving in this cold? Eh, I got the jacket on and snow pants. I'm okay. I gotta right. find where that other buoy is. The sun in Oregon. Okay, it does exist. What? Well, they, they say the sun only comes out like once every couple months this time of year. It's almost there. That is wild. This is awesome. <laughs> this is what we came for. Live Dungeness. We didn't catch any that were legal keeping size, but somebody told us about this place, which if you're here, you got to come to. It's awesome. Uh, they were about six bucks a pound, but commercial season just opened. Um, they'll be more expensive probably as the later season goes on. But yeah, look at that. Two pounder. Go show them the tanks. So we're in Garibaldi right now. Uh, if you guys stop off in this way, they've got vacuum sealed fish and stuff like that. So, but check this out. Just tons of Dungeness crab and it's, oh man, it's my favorite. And then let me show you what the uh, the Garibaldi port looks like here. So we're driving on the street going to the Tillamook Creamery to get some cheese and we see this mound of oysters. The reason we did a U-turn to go to Pacific Seafood was Megan saw the shells that you see behind you and I saw the mountain of shell. Never seen a mountain of shell. Six feet tall, look at this. This thing is huge. It's probably about 20 feet long too. It's 20 feet long. 
<laughs> I mean, it, no, that's more than 20 feet. That's as far as the eye can see. Man, that's almost 50 yards. I mean, that is a lot of shells. And then, of course, it's the backdrop for where we're at here. It's gorgeous. I think I'm falling in love with Oregon. Yeah, a little bit. Me Definitely too. falling in love with Oregon. And Megan says, if you want fresh seafood, this looks like the place to go. So we do a U-turn, we come back, and it turns out this is Pacific Oyster. Now they ship all over the place, and I love seafood. So we're going to go in here and we're going to take a look and see what we can Holy smokes. They're on a conveyor belt. A little hard to see in here, but... Look at the buckets. Look at the size of oysters through here. So they are shucking all those oysters that you see up there. Okay, so they're, yeah, they shuck them onto that side and they clean them off over here and then they jar them and process them here. So much of the things that we do, the places we go, the things we see is about revolving around food. This is Tillamook Cheese Factory. If you've never had Tillamook cheese, it is amazing. This is a place that's been on my bucket list to visit for a long time. Um, so we're going to go in, we're going to look at the creamery. They don't do like full tours, it's more of a self-guided tour um, where you can see the cheese making process. And I have a feeling I'm going to be coming back with a few pounds of cheese. I heard you like your samples. <laughs> that's cute. You ready for the tour? Yes. Alright, let's do it. Self-tour starts here. And up we go. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> 21 seconds. Go, 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 go. <laughs> you did it. You did it. But you know what? You did that a lot better than the milking of the goat, goat in Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Is this your favorite part of a food tour? Tasting cheese? Oh, yeah. So what's this one? 2015 extra sharp cheddar. It's got those little granules in it. Yeah, 2015 a pepper jack. Smoked medium cheddar, medium white cheddar, and cheddar cheese curds. Uh, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Going back the other way. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Not as squeaky as good with mustard squeaky cheese. But imagine that breaded and fried. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, with a little bit of I gravy. The poutine too. Oh, the poutine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we go downstairs and get some? Gift shop. Gift shop. I think that's my favorite chicken tea here. Of course, it's probably gonna be the most expensive one. So what you guys don't know right now is that when we did the oyster shell shot a few minutes ago, we stepped in something and our shoes stink. So every time we stop, people are like looking at us. It's a little embarrassing, but that's okay. We're gonna go get some cheese. We'll get out of here, try to get our shoes clean so that we're not those people. <laughs> yeah, because we are right now. Because what? Because we are right now. We can't get this by the store by us. Uh, Costco sometimes carries the Tillamook in the blocks, but you can't really find this. This is a little hard to find, so we're going to splurge and bring it home with us. What about the 2012? Uh, is one year worth it? No. The little 8 ounce block? No. All right, so let's do it. The 8 ounce block is 20 bucks for the 2012 and 2013, whereas this is only 25 and it's over a pound, so we're going to go with a better deal. If you come to the Tillamook Creamery, you gotta try these cheese curds, the tempura battered cheese curds. Really good. Oh man, yeah, it's burning my fingers. Oh my gosh, <laughs> stringy goodness. Stringy goodness. Mm. <laughs> <Say> cheese. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> it is cold out here. On the scheme of dumbest things we've done, this might be one of them. This is stupid, but we're going sturgeon fishing. 
It's it is. 35 and pouring. Oh my god, it's so cold. We haven't even started. We haven't even started. This oh. is not a good idea. <laughs> Let's do this. I always give him crap everywhere we go for overpacking, but then it comes out of just things like this, and he's like, aren't you glad I brought three things of, of wet weather gear? And I'm like, yes. It's the I told you so. Yes. <laughs> I, I never get to say I told you so to her, though. That yeah, comes, right, yeah. that comes back. That kind of reaches in a bag and hands me yeah. it. Right. gives me the look. <laughs> it's the I told you so look. Yes, yes. No, I, I, get, I get that one too. <laughs> if, if I ever said I told you so, there goes that happy wife, happy life yeah, model. Uh, yeah. 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 I have on the braid is, is a 65 pound, it's called Fins Fishing. Yeah. So it's a, uh, they're out of Kentucky, so it's a US made braided line, 65 pound braid. And I'll fish anywhere between 50 and 60 pound braid. What I have here is Smelly Jelly, just some scent. So it's uh, just a petroleum based scent. About four ounces of lead. Slide sinkers. Nice. Checking the drag. And then we're just gonna pop her out in the middle of nowhere and wait. <laughs> so here's, here's some that we have on the bottom. I mean, they, these right there could be eaters. I mean, we can come out here and reset out here and see if we get these to go. But this is yeah, that's a whole bunch of just suspended. Yeah. Sure. So we flew in to Portland yesterday and we went right to the boat show. We were hungry and we went to the hotel dropped our stuff off, got something to eat. And today we got up early so we could get out on the water and go crabbing. And I think in the hustle and bustle of things that we're used to, we didn't quite slow down until the afternoon. And what's really neat about Oregon, and you see it on the roads here, is it is a little bit slower. You know, people aren't driving the speed limit. They're not running each other off the road. And it's nice. It's, it's cool, it's crisp. And while I was getting the drone set up, I got a text message from my buddy uh, who's, who's back at home at work. And, you know, it just made me realize how lucky we are to be here um, and have the opportunity to do something like this. This isn't Florida. It's not California. It's not D.C. I think so much of what inspires some of the content that I watch on YouTube, what inspires me to watch the content that I do on some of the other channels is just that people do appreciate nature so much and this place is stunning yeah this place just sums it up i mean this is this is just amazing and uh not everybody has a chance to do some of the things we get to do and i fully understand that and so you know if there's something that you guys want to see more of we do travel a lot we would like to be able to provide you with opportunities to see things through our travels um, so please do leave a comment but this is really special, just how quiet it is here. And you can hear the birds in the background off in the distance. There's seagulls here. This is great.